Hey everybody, sorry for the bad lighting. I just want to do a quick update. Uh, you're probably wondering why the top of my printer is apart and why I have the uh, rail, the new rail system apart. Well, when I first got this printer, I saw nothing in the manual or in the uh, electronic manual that came with SD card on how to adjust these wheels. I'm not talking about the pulleys here. I'm talking about the wheels that are underneath here in the bottom. You see these wheels? How to adjust those? Because there was no way, nothing in the instructions, and the system was pretty tight. And I sent an email, and they just said, well, you must have put it on wrong. And since it didn't say nothing about anything about it, I assumed that it was supposed to be that tight. This is an example of how tight it is. Look at this. That's how tight it is. It's really tight. And it came that way. And uh, luckily, I was talking... We're sending a message to GearBest, uh, the Troxy store in GearBest, uh, about uh, what type of uh, hot end could be put on here later. And then I asked the question again. I said, look, uh, last time I asked this question, they assumed that I had it in wrong. Because uh, you see here, there's a right and a left. They thought I put the right in the right, in the left one, and the left one in the right one. But it wouldn't matter anyway, because... He, they're the same rail system. So uh, basically I asked him, I said, how do you adjust it? And then he came back to me and he said he looked in the manual. You know something, it's not in the manual. And uh, so they literally on the spot made a video for me on how to adjust this system because it needs to be adjusted because with it being tight, yes, the motors will move it, but these motors will eventually get hot. It might get damaged from the heat. So, basically, what you do is, let me get a screwdriver here. Okay, or thing here. You see right here, there, there are two set screws in here. One in there and one in there, okay? So, what you need to do is you take the set screws out completely. And you take a pair of sharp needle nose pliers and you put them in both holes okay right like that then to uh, if your system is too tight like mine was you would counterclockwise turn this you know like this counterclockwise now if you're if this is too loose you turn it clockwise that's how you adjust the, the wheel system on this uh, new rail system. And uh, I'm guessing they didn't think that, uh, they thought that the, maybe at the factory they set it right, but it wasn't, at least mine wasn't set right. Uh, and some of the other models that they come out, you know, that come out, uh, that people buy, they might be set right, just that mine weren't. So basically I set it right then, now, this thing, look at that thing, I think it's so smooth now, it is unbelievable. Now, unfortunately, with the hot end, it has the same rail system, and you can see a wheel right there. So you have to take off the hot end cover to get to those wheels to be able to adjust the hot end. Luckily, my hot end was not that tight, so it's pretty good. I still will take it apart since I have this apart to, to double check the tightness of it. And then, uh, but it should be nice and smooth when you, and, and all four wheels should be touching. Uh, just put your finger in the bottom like this and see if you turn it like this, if you if it moves when you turn it. And, it, and the, you know, just make sure that all four wheels are contacting. And then put the set screws back in, tighten it up, and you're all done. 